What up, what up, oh, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Night watch, man. Patreon, if you don't know. Uh, <laughs> we got a doozy today, bro. Man, look, hey, I swear, I promise, I was done with the whole Eminem Benzino drama, at least for the week. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, bro, especially considering Cole just dropped. You know what I'm saying? Bugsy just dropped. You got Marlon Craft and Method Man got a whole track together. You know what I'm talking about? Who else? Uh, Gats on D uh, Daily Duck. You know what I'm talking about? Like, been a bunch of fires at least the past two days. You know what I'm saying? I was going to give it a rest. But then, how I'm supposed to get this rest? You know what I'm saying? Since last night, I've been hit up. Hey, uh, uh, Benzino talking shit, bro. About you. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> bro, all night this morning. And you think I'm just going to ignore this? <laughs> no, we got to tap in, bro. We got to, dog. We got to see what the what 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 the God got to say today. <laughs> bro, this is hilarious, dog. I, I saw a few seconds from the first person that sent it to me. They screen recorded it, and I seen some of what was said, dog. You know how I get down. Nope. <laughs> nope. We got to get this on camera to see more of the damn Boots, they come out this man's mouth, dog. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're gonna tap in. Uh, I guess he back on the Danza project. Shout out to the Danza project. They're doing big things. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so yeah, we're gonna dive into this now. Uh, like always, though, please pull up the shop StevenKnight.com. Right? You know that that holds the headaches go today. <laughs> the holes the headaches go today. Benzino continuing to be a headache to himself and everybody associated with him. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, um, this is funny, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> I guess since it man dropped no diss track, <laughs> we're going to get it to react. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shopstevenight.com. Anytime you see me rocking some drip that you rocking with, pull up over there. I got you. Uh, yeah. Says Benzino speaks on Elliot Wilson, Stevie Knight, and Coy LeRae. Let's do it. So, so there's a guy named Stevie Knight. Shout out Stevie Knight. He had a... Um... Hey, shout out. To the Danza Project, bro. I'm not sure your name, cuz, but I appreciate that, dog. I appreciate that, man. Let's get into it, bro. <laughs> Let's get into it, dog. That's what, like, Academic does. You know, he blogs. And he's sitting there and he's saying that you tried to use the, the, the black versus whites as a way to keep... This is coming from a black dude. <laughs> I come from Boston, Massachusetts, bro. Stevie Knight would have got his fucking head smashed back in the 80s and then with all that fucking white man bowing down shit. He wouldn't have lasted in my hood with that. You've seen it. You've seen it. Stevie Knight wouldn't have lasted an hour in my hood with that bow down of white man shit. Nobody give a fuck about what Stevie Knight got to say. Stevie Knight crossed over. He all the way crossed over. Yeah, Stevie Knight's with them. He's, he's cool. It's cool. There's nothing. We can all coexist. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck is, like, this guy sits in his bedroom with his pants on, and he, and he worships Eminem. So am I supposed to do it with my pants off? <laughs> <laughs> that deflection was crazy. He want to answer the question. Are you not pitting black folks against white folks in the way you're going about this shit, bro? Is your demonizing of Eminem, not you playing the race card, right? He ain't answering the question, bro. But he essentially answered it by attacking me for being black. <laughs> it's the same thing he doing to, he been doing to Eminem, the same thing he doing to me now, right? He's black, he supports Eminem. He's already crossed over. He's all the way crossed over. Like black people are not allowed to support Eminem or I guess their black card is revoked because they support Eminem. Like, what the fuck is that? But it's Benzino. This is to be expected, bro. But, 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 but the shit that got me, though, bro. Like, cuz, cuz, cuz is 60. He's 60. I'm from Boston, bro. <laughs> I'm from the mean streets of Boston, dog. If Stevie Knight was talking that sh back in my day, he would have got his head bust. A head bust for what? Supporting the a nice rapper <laughs> and calling out your bullshit <laughs> come on man but the fact that he goes to that right it's like so juvenile you would think because it's like 
22 talking the way he's talking, bro. It's crazy. He sit behind the camera uh, supporting Eminem with his pants on. What <laughs> the fuck? You want me to support Eminem with my pants off the Hey, baby, bro. Yeah, you out here looking crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Red roof in and with the whole transgender shit, bro. Is that what you want to see? <laughs> you ain't going to see that here, fam. This guy sits in his bedroom with his pants on and he, and he worships Eminem. So he can get all of Eminem's followers. Everybody knows it's an easy way to get millions of followers if you blow Eminem's balls. And that's what these YouTube fucking weirdos are. I wouldn't expect Benzino to know anything about me and this channel and, and where it's come from and how it's gotten here. You know what I'm talking about? And nor should I even need to defend myself against that bullshit, dog. Because all it is just race baiting. But it's Benzino. It's to be expected, bro. But for those that are newly introduced to my channel, or maybe, maybe you are not newly introduced but you wasn't here from the beginning those that were here from the beginning can all confirm and corroborate how eminem even came became a focus on this channel y'all know i wasn't going to eminem before y'all put me on eminem those from the beginning know that and i was not an eminem fan initially and going through this eminem journey i became a fan I was one of those in the in the in the stereotypical black hip hop box, or having expectations of what hip hop should look like, right? The shit I preach against now, and Eminem was one of those that was able to open my eyes and lift my blinders as to what hip hop is all about. You feel me? The the focus behind Eminem was not for clicks and trying to grow and all that, bro. I was a student, and throughout this journey became. An expert and because i know so much at this point that's why i go so hard for him when i got them see people out here talking bullshit. you know what i mean shit that don't add up shit that don't make no sense shit they just be hating you know what i mean if you know if you know enough about me you know that i will hold eminem accountable when he doesn't meet my expectations of what of what i have for him from doomsday too a lot of like you look in the comments of my reaction to doomsday too and you see the toxic fans and the goddamn comments trying to come at me because how dare you say anything negative about Eminem? No, bro, I get fair assessments, fair criticisms and shit, but, you know, I can see how it comes across as standish and sucking Eminem's dick and all that, bro. I get it, but if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know, bro. But, like, I got to defend myself on him saying that shit because that's just factually untrue. But at the end of the day, no Eminem slander will be tolerated. No slander for anybody is undeserving of it will be tolerated on my channel regardless. And then it's coming from Benzino, bro. They're coming from Benzino. Hold on, I'm, I'm talking way too much. Let's 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 see what else he got to say about me. Is that it? And they blow Eminem's balls so they can get millions of fans because they know that uh, that he got millions of fucking fans. Who the fuck? Now you talk about how boy he like again resume. When you go, the only gonna remember you by your resume. Do you really think somebody's gonna be shouting fuck when when we all gone? Somebody's gonna be shouting Stevie Knight. <laughs> Now, I know Bobby Knight, the great Bobby Knight, the great Indiana coach. Nobody's going to know who the fuck Stevie Knight is, yo. That YouTube shit, I, that's them. Let them get off. They they jerk they dick off and do you and talk about people, other people. and you know. But I know the Eminem thing. All those guys that got Eminem, it's an easy way to get. So he has to kiss up to them. <laughs> Boop licking ass. Fuck, bro. <laughs> ass. Tap dancing ass. <laughs> Niggas been doing it for years, bro. I actually just got familiar with it. Dog, big picture to me, bro. Like, this is all fun games. You know, shits and giggles and shit, bro. But, like, this has nothing to do with Eminem at this point, bro. This is all him. I mean, it's it has something to do with Eminem because it's so polarizing at this point. It's Eminem associated, bro. But the fucking engine driving this shit is just how racist this mother. Is. essentially saying the only reason why any black man will be out here supporting eminem because they're bootlicking and trying and trying to appease an audience and regardless if you fuck with eminem or not bro that's just dangerous ass talk to be having you know what i mean and fortunately benzino ain't nobody that's can that's gonna push the meter right and he ain't got no big following ain't nobody really checking for what he's saying and shit which i find ironic because when they talk about resumes and shit at this point like there's there was once a point in time where benzino resume would be respectable and shit but he's fucked his i don't even want to call it legacy anymore bro because like legacy to me is something positive right this motherfucker has nothing positive following him at this point like he's 
his histories up so much by this racist ass bulldog tear he been on, bro. Like for the past 22 years, this motherfucker has made it his sole focus to just bash Eminem every fucking turn he can get, every podcast he can get, every interview he can get to reap the benefits of it, to get clout from it, bro. That's what his resume is at this point. The only, the only fucking reason why this fool is relevant at all all is because he's literally had Eminem's dick in his mouth the entire time. That's the only reason why he's relevant. Only reason why he's on the Danza Project. Only reason why he's on Drink Champs. Only reason why this motherfucker is trending is because he's on some race baiting hatred towards Eminem. That's it, dog. That, that's a terrible reason to be relevant, to be known. And that's your legacy, dog. Oh, it's so sad what the fuck he's doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. I'll continue giving him the, the business on these videos and shit, bro. But big picture, dog, it's like, I've never seen someone just go out in flames the way this man has, bro. This motherfucker's 60 years old, talking like a fucking kid. You know what I mean? Still living in a fucking past. What's this, like his third midlife crisis? Because wants to continue to be cool so bad, wants to continue being a thug, wants to continue perpetuating the stigma and black culture that keeps black people behind. That's saying the worst shit that's not doing any good for anybody, right? And then this motherfucker literally, literally has been saying the same shit since 22 years ago, bro. Trying to play the fucking race card. Like Eminem already handled that fucking racist shit back in the day. And he brings it back up like it's current. Because he know that's going to trigger certain black folks about hip-hop. Because everybody don't know about that foolish pride shit, bro. You got to be an Eminem fan. You got you to know who the fuck Benzino is. You had to have been around during that time to even know what fucking foolish pride is. He know that shit. He know that shit. You know what? I'm going to got them piss all the black folks off again and let them know what the fuck Eminem was talking about when he's 15, 16 years old. Because he ain't the fucking culture. He white. He doesn't deserve to be respected the way he is in hip-hop. But luckily, Benzino's a fucking clown and nobody takes anything he says serious, right? <laughs> right, like if he has if he has some juice, then woof. And then he's so, he's so out of the times. Like he's trying to dog YouTube and, and the reaction game and the streaming game and just social media game, period. He just sounds like an old senile motherfucker that don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Whether you like it or not, the shit that you trying to talk shit about literally is running everything at this point. You know what I mean? Regardless if you like it or not, like, Kai Sinat is running things. <laughs> Regardless if you like it or not. What's the other white boy name on Kick? Uh, I forgot his fucking name, but running things, bro. We don't live in the 80s no more. We're not in the mean street to Boston no more, bro. We, we're doing this online shit, and somebody needs to catch your ass up to what the fuck is going on. Or they don't. They don't. Matter of fact, bro, your ass should get on stream, bro. You should get on stream and just talk. You get paid handsomely for it, bro, because you're entertaining. Because you're fucking nuts. <laughs> you say the craziest shit. Benzino and the way he's moving is the equivalent of an OnlyFans model. Let me tell you why. Because this fool actually admitted to having ghostwriters for a diss record. Gloated about it. Bragged about it. <laughs> Matter of fact, Cliff Beats just released a video with footage of his little hip hop workshop of them putting it record together. <laughs> now, if you listen in the background, you can hear Rap Elvis playing. Put the light over there, shut it off again, and she's over there. If you look right here, you could see the mixing of the track being done. Obviously, here's your guy, Benzino. So there you have it. A little snippet. Some footage. Of the mixing down of the track. He's actually gloating about that shit, bro. Bro, you're exploiting yourself, dog, because that looks crazy to hip hop, to the culture. You're exploiting yourself. It's no different than a OnlyFans model up here sucking dick, exploiting herself. But the difference is, this bitch knows she's exploiting herself. You didn't realize it, how crazy you fucking look. You look wild, stupid, bro. 60 year old man talking the shit you fucking talking and then you take your old decrepit ass up on fucking drink champs and get shit face drunk like somebody never had liquor before crying all types of shit bro like you have made yourself look like the biggest bitch in hip-hop period you know why because you attached yourself to one of the biggest rappers in hip-hop period so that's what benzino was known for for 
creating a 22 year old racist ass narrative in attempts to discredit Eminem as a rapper for getting ghostwriters to fucking make a diss record for Eminem for admitting to having ghostwriters for the diss record <laughs> for going on drink champs with Nori and FN and crying like a bitch, like a bitch and then proceed to advertise his presence to those who want to exploit him further. Hey, you know, I'm around for interviews, podcasts, all types of shit because I'm, I'm trending for looking like a goddamn clown. Bro, that's, it's, this, is the, this is the wackest shit ever, bro. <laughs> you look crazy. You look crazy, dog. You need a fucking life coach. You need a mentor, bro. 60-year-old Benzino did fucking sit his ass down somewhere. Put this fool going on a podcast talking about he used to smoke crack, do do angel dust, you know what I'm saying? Do heroin, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here selling dope, just incriminating him himself, trying to glorify the fact that he was a fiend back in the day, bro. Like, you you talk too fucking much, first of all. That's why people keep putting your ass on the fucking camera, because you talk too much. Hey, give Benzino some liquor. Put a camera in front of him, you have gold. Because this bitch is going to exploit himself. You ain't got to say nothing. Just say Eminem. He go crazy. <laughs> You'll see the fucking, the steam blow out of his head. He going to say the craziest racist ass shit. <laughs> Tell you, Eminem don't got to say nothing. Nothing. Uh, But yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Appreciate you, Dan's a project. It's a good look, dog. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. If I got Benzino hating on me, I'm doing a damn good job, bro. Hey, I ain't done, bro. I ain't done. Matter of fact, I, I mean, I would like to challenge Benzino on something, but it don't even, it, like, the challenge would be pointless, bro, because ain't no talking to somebody like that, bro. They racist, and it doesn't matter what evidence you provide that person. They're not trying to hear it, bro, but I'm aware that there are a lot of people out here that listen to hip-hop that you know say you know eminem don't get checked for in the hood i don't vibe with him i can't relate to this if you talking about da, 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 da. i challenge all y'all fuckers bro right i challenge all of y'all that i can provide you plenty of songs that you're gonna be honest with yourself right that's the that's the thing are they gonna be honest about their opinion on these songs bro and i'm telling you telling all y'all motherfuckers bro it ain't what you think it ain't this like Benzino be talking about, bro. Like Eminem, the fact that I need to even need to say that is crazy. But I need to say this for people that are ignorant, dog, because all they think of is hi, my name is. And nah, bro, Eminem raps his ass off, dog. And I got plenty of songs from Eminem in the clip that the culture would most likely enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Um and will prove to all the doubters and naysayers of why he is him. You feel me? So um, I'm going to end it on that note. Slight, slight, slight positivity. You feel me? Anyway, uh, yeah.